Ever wondered about the sitcom that brought laughter and camaraderie to living rooms back in the day? Bosom Buddies, a television series from the 1980s, holds a special place in the hearts of many. Before we dive into the lesser known aspects, let me pose a question. Are there any hidden gems, fascinating anecdotes about this series that have caught your attention? As we explore the nooks and crannies of Bosom Buddies, think back to the times it graced your TV screen. Do you have a cherished memory associated with the series? Perhaps a moment that lingers in your mind. Share it with us, as we would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's unravel some intriguing tidbits about Bosom Buddies. The show, set in the early 80 seconds, revolves around the hilarious escapades of two friends who resort to dressing in drag to secure affordable housing. A captivating hook lies in the unconventional premise, challenging societal norms with a generous dose of humor. Did you know that Bosom Buddies served as a launching pad for Tom Hanks' career? His comedic prowess shone through in his portrayal of Kip Wilson, one of the protagonists. The show, despite facing an early end, remains a nostalgic gem for many viewers. And there you have it, a glimpse into the world of Bosom Buddies. Now, back to you, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? We eagerly await your tales in the comments below. Bosom Buddies, a classic 1980 TV series, emerged as a sitcom gem with a premise both unique and entertaining. The show, created by Chris Thompson and Dale McRaven, follows the misadventures of two young advertising professionals, Kip Wilson and Henry Desmond. Facing a housing crisis, the duo resorts to donning disguises as women Buffy and Hildegardino secure affordable lodging in an all-female residence. As they navigate the challenges of maintaining their secret identities, hilarity ensues, accompanied by a remarkable blend of slapstick humor and heartfelt moments. The dynamic chemistry between the lead actors, Tom Hanks and Peter Scolari, brought a genuine charm to the characters and their interactions. The show's quirky plot and the cast's comedic prowess contributed to its success, earning a dedicated fan base. Despite its relatively short run, Bosom Buddies remains a cult classic, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of sitcoms. Its influence on gender-bending narratives and the exploration of unconventional friendships resonates in subsequent TV shows, cementing its enduring impact on popular culture. A testament to its enduring appeal, the legacy of Bosom Buddies endures as a testament to the timeless allure of laughter and camaraderie. Thelma Hopkins, a talented vocalist and cast member of the 1980 TV series, Bosom Buddies, showcased her singing prowess in various episodes. In One For You, One For Me, an episode where Kip finds himself in jail, Hopkins cleverly references tying a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree and nod to the hit single Tie a Yellow Ribbon by Tony Orlando and Don, a music group she was part of. This musical connection adds a unique layer to Bosom Buddies, highlighting the diverse talents within the cast. It's interesting to note that Hopkins continued her career in both acting and music, underlining the multifaceted nature of the show's cast. This musical touch, coupled with the sitcom's unconventional plot, contributed to the series' enduring appeal and cultural impact. The main characters are named after two bars in Berkeley, Ka, Kipps, and Henry's. In the quirky realm of the 1980 sitcom, Bosom Buddies, there's an interesting tidbit about the main characters, Kip Wilson and Henry Desmond. Their names weren't just picked out of thin air, they were inspired by two bars in Berkeley, Ka, Kipps, and Henry's. This subtle nod to local watering holes adds a touch of hometown flavor to the misadventures of Kip and Henry as they navigate the challenges of disguising themselves as women for affordable lodging. The show, created by Chris Thompson and Dale McRaven, predates the cross-dressing trend that would later hit the big screen, setting the stage for a wave of popular movies like Tootsie, Yentl, Just One of the Guys, and Victor, Victoria. Interestingly, the Bosom Buddies legacy extends beyond the small screen, with Tom Hanks and Wendy Jo Sperber later reuniting for the big screen in the classic comedy, Bachelor Party. The show's clever character names not only tie it to its geographical roots, but also contribute to its lasting impact on the evolving landscape of television and film, showcasing a unique facet of its behind-the-scenes inspiration. Peter Scolari revealed in interviews that the original pitch for Bosom Buddies promised that the characters would only be in drag temporarily, serving as a gag for the first season before transitioning into more normal roles. 
However, this turned out to be deceptive as Kip and Henry continued their cross-dressing antics throughout the series, becoming a central theme. This unexpected twist not only shaped the show's direction, but also played a pivotal role in the dynamics between the characters. The initial plan to abandon the drag element was scrapped, leading to a unique and enduring aspect of the series that defied conventional sitcom norms. The decision's impact on character development and audience engagement adds a fascinating layer to the legacy of Bosom Buddies. Tom Hanks' enduring legacy from Bosom Buddies extends beyond the small screen. Notably, Donna Dixon, who portrayed Tom Hanks' girlfriend in the series, later married Dan Aykroyd, Hanks' partner in the movie Dragnet. This real-life connection adds an interesting layer to the show's impact, showcasing how the relationships formed on set transcended the confines of the sitcom world. The interconnectedness of the cast members and their subsequent collaborations in different projects sheds light on the lasting bonds forged during the production of Bosom Buddies. Tom Hanks' journey from Bosom Buddies to Hollywood stardom saw more than just on-screen success. In a twist of fate, Hanks crossed paths with his future wife, Rita Wilson, during the series. Wilson made a guest appearance in the episode All You Need Is Love in 1981, a year after the show's debut. However, both were in other relationships at the time. Their romance didn't spark immediately, but fate had other plans. A few years later, Hanks and Wilson reconnected on the set of Volunteers, and the rest is history. This real-life love story adds a personal touch to the Bosom Buddies' legacy, showing that sometimes, life imitates art. The unexpected connections formed on set went beyond the small screen, shaping the lives of those involved in ways no script could predict. The TV series Bosom Buddies had its roots in a pitch to ABC that initially envisioned a straightforward buddy comedy, reminiscent of Billy Wilder's films. The producers highlighted some like it hot as a reference, and ABC gave the green light with a unique condition. The main characters had to disguise themselves as women. Despite the unexpected shift, the producers managed to create the show with minimal interference from the network. This decision laid the foundation for the series' distinctive premise, where two advertising professionals, Kip Wilson and Henry Desmond, navigate the challenges of cross-dressing for affordable lodging. The initial plan to return to more typical roles after the first season turned into a surprising and enduring central theme, shaping the show's direction and character dynamics. The deviation from the original pitch wasn't the only unexpected turn. Tom Hanks, one of the lead actors, encountered his future wife, Rita Wilson, during the series. Their love story, which began with Wilson making a guest appearance, added a personal dimension to the legacy of Bosom Buddies, illustrating how connections formed on set went beyond scripted narratives. From its unconventional origins to the lasting impact on the lives of those involved, Bosom Buddies stands out as a unique and influential series, defying conventional sitcom norms with humor and unexpected connections. As we bid adieu to this nostalgic journey down memory lane, we can't help but marvel at the timeless charm of that unforgettable 1980s gem. A show that not only tickled our funny bones, but also nestled itself into the very fabric of our recollections. As you've taken this delightful stroll through the past, Think back to those laughter-filled evenings spent in the company of those quirky characters. Did Kip and Henry's zany escapades become a cherished part of your own escapades through life? Perhaps you found a piece of yourself reflected in their hilarious misadventures, or discovered a kindred spirit in their endearing camaraderie. Now, we invite you to share your unique voyage with Bosom Buddies. Drop your anecdotes, your laughter-infused reminiscences, or the poignant moments that have etched themselves into the tapestry of your personal history. After all, it's not just a TV series, it's a shared experience that binds us across time. So, dear friend, take a moment to pen down your thoughts, unearth those buried memories, and let the nostalgia flow. Your stories, your insights, they all contribute to the rich tapestry of collective reminiscence, that makes Bosom Buddies a show that transcends eras. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of laughter and camaraderie. Your time and your unique connection with Bosom Buddies make this journey all the more special. Until we unravel another treasure trove of memories together, keep those anecdotes close, and may the spirit of Kip and Henry continue to brighten your days. Crafted with a touch of nostalgia and a dash of humor, 